Okay, it is March 9th. About a quarter to nine in the evening. And, as you can see here, I got that uh, transom knee in place. Didn't have a whole lot of options for clamping it. Uh, I put a block up here, some wax paper between it and a screw in there to hold this end down. And then of course these uh, two clamps here that were on the diagonal. Worked all right, I think. I think there's plenty of clamping pressure there. Actually, I took it off once and did some, eh, a fair amount of, you know, uh, planing and then, and then sanding to get it to, uh, to get it in pretty good shape. And, and it was in pretty good shape. Um, when I dropped her down here, I had nice squeeze out all the way around. Just about perfect, actually. So, so yeah, I was happy with that. Um, I trimmed this line here just a little bit uh, to make it a little easier to get my planking in there because that's where the one and a half inch planking will go. And I'm thinking the plywood will go over everything. We'll go over cover this and the and the rest of the sheeting there. In this spot here, this two and a half inches here, I, <laughs> I was a little gun shy on. Uh, on getting that right, getting this the spacing right, because uh, so what I did was I planed down a couple of two bys to get the final two and a half inch thickness, and then I cut the angle on the table saw so it would sit in there just perfectly, and I could mark that then as to where that knee needed to go, and that worked okay. Um, everything's pretty close, um, under a degree on my digital level, so I think that'll work. Um, I made a jig <laughs> to glue this knee up on here. I set it up on there, and then I made a jig that comes out, comes out this way, just a couple boards, one on the end, so I could flip this thing, you know, pivot it on this point here, and then set it out there. And that's a little jig I made to hold that. Just put a few finish nails in there to, to hold it. Uh, when you're working by yourself, again, that just seemed like the easiest way to do it. Then I could work on both surfaces. Okay, I'm getting to the point where I can, I'm about ready. I suppose tomorrow this epoxy will be cured up enough. I can finish running this bearding line out. Uh, this bearding line, this red line here, is going to come out up there. Um, and now that I got the knee on, I can finish doing that bearding line, and then I can actually cut that bearding line. And once that bearding line is cut, that means I can start putting frames on if I want. So that's kind of why the rush to get this transom knee on there, because uh, there's other things I can't do until I get this bearding line cut out. I can't start putting frames on here until I get this cut out because I'm going to use a saw, a circular saw to cut this one out. And I don't know about about this. This is one I'm going to cut out with the circular saw. I don't know about the rabbit line down here. It's going to have to be a real flat angle, you know, and I'm not going to be able to get a circular saw in there. And that was what I was talking about the other day. I might be able to use a an oscillating multi-tool for that. I don't know. Otherwise it's going to be a chisel. And uh, I need to start getting bolts in at all these stations, but the really crucial bolts are back here because I need bolts to, to bolt through this whole thing here. Um, and you can't run a bolt down the center, of course, because we've got a prop shaft running down the center. So, instead of running a... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Instead of running a three-quarter inch bolt down the middle, I'm going to run two half-inch bolts on either side. And when we get over here, we'll run some three-quarter inch bolts. And then I'll probably just do some drift bolts on the sides, but smaller drift bolts. But you need to drill through, in some cases, feet. I mean, back here, it's almost five feet of, of keel to drill through. I mean, that's just almost an unimaginable amount of drilling to do. And, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But 
Anyway, I made a jig to hold the drill bit. Uh, and I got it set up back here. And what I'll do is I'll just screw this on. Onto the, I'll make a couple marks on the on the keel to keep this, you know, vertical. And, uh, yeah, and I've checked this. It's, it's pretty consistent. Uh, the thickness is, you know, it's just right there the whole way. Um, reasonably straight this direction, although it doesn't look perfect either. But, it doesn't need to be so perfect that way. It needs to be really perfect this way so we don't drill into the shaft log or blow out the side of the keel which I understand happens fairly frequently but if we go into the into the shaft log I don't know how you'd fix that I guess you just throw the whole keel onto a wood pile, wood pile and burn it huh? Yeah, I don't think so we'd figure out something inject some epoxy in there I suppose but uh, anyway yeah, so that's what this is for. I got a couple pieces of high molecular weight plastic in here as guides. And there's, you know, 10 inches or 12 inches there, whatever it is. And then this gets onto the keel and it's and it's got a, you know, I made a T-frame out of it basically or an I-beam or angle iron beam actually. I guess it'd be closer to, the, to what that is, an angle beam. To keep it all nice and straight. So nothing fancy, but well, let's hope it works. Hope, hope, hope it works. I ordered a couple of bits initially. This one's like a four foot long bit, half inch bit, and then I've got a five foot long half inch bit. Um, but then I thought it might be easier to get these holes started straight if I had something a little shorter. So I ordered a set of 18 inch bits. Where did I go with the other one? Yeah, it's here somewhere. I've got a set of 18 inch bits in pretty much all standard imperial sizes. Yeah, well, I lose things all the time. Nothing new there. But uh, anyway, so I can start it with an 18 inch bit. You know, I can get in, you know, a, a foot or so with the eight, 18 inch bit. Well, not quite a foot, but get it started and then switch to the next bigger bit and then the longest bit if, if, if need be. Again, hopefully that works all right. We shall see. All right, that's my update.